I had an idea while I was playing Persona 3 Reload, right? A revelation, if you will. I'm not gonna follow the script, but I did wanna use that plan. I had a revelation, right? So Revelations Persona, the original PS1 version is not great, but I think it needs to be remade again because there is so much like on the table when it comes to Persona. I think Persona 2 should also get a remake instead of a remaster seriously but persona one has just so much potential for like a fully fledged modernized game that could be brought into like the new like the new experience that these atlas rpgs these sega rpgs honestly are are utilizing they deserve to be built from the ground up as fresh and modern experiences right however i don't think atlas should go the exact same route in remaking persona one and two as they did with remaking persona three it needs to be built from the ground up it needs to have quality of life changes that are present in persona 3 reload right are present in persona 5 but gameplay wise i don't think it should try to emulate the newer persona games instead i think that they should bring a modern presentation and a gameplay style more similar to some of the other games in the smt franchise like smt5 and soul hackers 2. gameplay wise i think it should go more along that route due to the fact that persona 1 and i'm guessing persona 2 as well although i heard there were gameplay changes between the two games i haven't played two i have played one and one plays much closer to like an smt game on playstation it's much closer to the mainline series so i think in remaking it they should bring it or keep it close to the mainline series i personally think it should play like soul hackers 2 because i think soul hackers 2 is a really fun game and it has a very fun take on the press turn system that is uh, present in a lot of persona not persona but smt games even though i'm aware that soul hackers 2 has taken some inspiration from persona 5 in terms of game design but the way soul hackers 2 uses the press turn system in uh opposition to the way persona uses the one more system is and also in opposition to how other smts use the press turn system i think the utilization in soul hackers 2 was so interesting because in soul hackers 2 when you hit an enemy weakness you are able to leave a shadow of the demon that attacked that weakness behind the enemies and at the end of the turn when everybody is taking their action like i said that demon can do a follow-up action right for extra damage i think that a persona one remake should take more of that than doing just a one more system like the last three persona games have given us i also think that a persona one remake shouldn't really take the route of like the modern persona games as they approach combat not only you know with the press turn system versus the one more system but also how they approach turn-based combat in the original persona game you have a grid right you have formations for all your main characters you arrange them in a formation based on what their affinities are you strategize that way then you basically have them pick an action that they're gonna do during their turn it's really cool you know what i mean i don't think they should do it exactly like that but that turn-based tactical aspect of persona 1 is something i think they can hold on to they could either emulate what they did in persona 5 tactica or they could go like outside of the whole smt franchise in general and try to emulate something like they do in trails in the sky the trails games they could do something like that and i believe it would be a great fit for the particular combat system that Persona 1 has, and I'm assuming that Persona 2 has as well. I think that would bring it closer. I think it would have it closer to the DNA of the original game. With hindsight, you can make a lot of quality of life improvements. Just keep it closer to the original series. Keep keep a hold on that, on that root, and I think it'll be a great remake. Persona 1, I think, especially needs the remake treatment because for people who don't know, this game has two whole ass storylines, right? You got the main route, Sebek, right? That is your main story. But if you fulfill certain conditions while playing the game, you're able to unlock the Snow Queen route. So much content in that game. I would love for people to like experience those stories in kind of a more modern type of game. And then, you know, keep Persona Fusion, keep Demon Negotiation. That needs to be in there. Keep that creepy atmosphere and oh my God a remix or a remaster or a reorchestration of that entire soundtrack will be baller visual wise they would make some obvious changes gameplay wise i think they can make some 
some reasonable updates i don't know i think it would pop off honestly there's so many people who haven't played persona 1 i think it's a shame it's a hard game to get into because it's so fucking old and it's so obtuse but once you get once you get into it it really starts clicking with the story and i think it'll be great it would seem that there is something brewing over at atlas and i'm happy you know what i mean and i'm not saying persona 4 remake doesn't need to have a like doesn't need to happen i would gladly play that shit. persona 4 golden is one of my favorite games of all time i would pay 70 dollars for it i would play it but maybe focus on bringing the older games in the series to a newer audience because it, it would be a shame if people couldn't experience those stories you know